Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss about the queue interface and its implementation classes such as priority queue and linked list. So I sincerely request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. If you look at the collection framework hierarchy, you have the queue interface and its implementation classes are priority queue and linked list. Now you can ask me, sir, what is a queue? Queue is a data structure which follows the principle called first in first out. Already we have discussed about the stack implementation class the stack follows the principle called lost in first out whereas q follows the principle called first in first out let me discuss more about the q with a few examples okay so let me take a one q okay suppose let's take that there is a, a booking center is there let me write in shortcut as bc and people want to book the tickets so the let's take that you have a person p1 okay person p1 has entered the next person p2 has entered then person p3 has entered then person p4 has entered now the first person who can book the ticket is this person and the next person who can book the tickets once he has completed is this person and then this person and then this person so it follows the first in first out the person who have entered into the queue first will be removed also first okay and the person who have entered at the last will be removed last so if you have a set of elements like a 1 10 15 40 then where you will insert the elements you will insert the elements at the tail and you will remove the elements from the head okay suppose if you are adding one more element that element you will add at the tail and the if you are using the remove method or if you want to remove the first element the element will be removed from the head because this is the first element have been inserted into the queue and now let me discuss about the priority queue also the priority queue the name itself is a priority it will give a certain priority okay so the elements will be ordered based on the priority look at here suppose we are going for uh, tirupati darshanam am i right to visit the lord venkateshwara we will go to tirumala am i right there are certain number of ways you can enter like if you people can go using free darshan okay and some people can enter using 500 rupees darshan some people can enter vip everyone want to visit the temple but the free darshan it will take lot of time and then less time will be taken for 500 rupees it will take around three hours or some time based on and vip if you have some mp or mla recommendation then you can uh, visit the god very fastly am i right so all the people are interested to visit the uh, Venkateshwara but the thing is that based on the priority the time it will take will vary okay so everyone is following the queue but here in the priority queue the priority will be given for the element so if you arrange the element suppose if even you have first you have inserted 10 then you have inserted 1 then you have inserted 5 then you have inserted 4 then also the elements will be 1 4 5 10 okay so the priority queue always uh, defaultly it will go in the ascending order or increasing order if you remove the element the first element will be removed as 1 then 4 then 5 then 10 like this so this is the difference between the queue and priority queue now we can implement this queue interface using two classes one is linked list class and another one is that you have the priority queue okay now the linked list class we have implemented already where we have implemented you can look at this hierarchy see when we have discussed about the list interface here we have already talked about the linked list class even you can see the diagram queue interface is 
also have the linked list class implementation means queue interface methods means what are the methods which are there in the queue interface those methods can also be implemented using the linked list so here i will talk mainly about the methods which are there in the queue interface such as we have the add offer okay remove peak element pull such methods are there so i will talk one about other okay now what i will do i will open the desktop java programs and i will open the new text document and i will save it as uh, q demo okay dot java now let me open this one using the notepad plus plus okay now if i want to use any of these methods first i need to import the java.util package and then i need to write class q demo okay then i need to write public static void main string args okay then what i need to do i need to create an object for the linked list class okay so linked list i will write it as l or i will let me write list is equal to okay linked list sorry new linked list and then end with semicolon then you can ask me sir earlier you are specifying here integer string like this if i does not specify what happen also we will discuss now now to add the elements we have two methods one is the add method and another method is offer method okay what is the difference between add method and offer method is if the queue have some space meaning is that there is no overflow okay in that case add and offer works in same way but let's take that you are trying to add the element using the add method and queue is full okay if queue is full then add method will throw an exception okay similarly the offer method if the queue is not full it will add the element if queue is full then it will return the false okay it will return the false means i am not able to insert the element or add the element because already the queue is full so when the queue is full add method will throw an exception whereas offer method will return the false value now if you want to verify we can add the element so i will write list dot add let me enter one then let me enter some 25 then let me enter okay some two and then i'm adding or using the offer method also i'm doing let me enter some four okay so this add method and offer method is useful for you to add the elements now i have a doubt can we able to store heterogeneous elements or not okay so list dot offer i will write here pernica see look at here the one 25 2 4 are the integer objects whereas pernica is a string object and similarly i want to verify can i add the null or not okay now i have done all these things now i want to display okay the elements or the objects which are there in the list okay i can write like this or i can use the for each or iterator list iterator all these things okay already we have discussed them in earlier videos now let me save this program let me open the command prompt and then you know that all our programs will be there in the desktop and java programs and then i need to compile the q demo dot java see if you does not specify whether it is an integer or a string what kind of objects it will store then it will give like this q demo dot java uses unchecked or unsafe operation like this it will give but this is just a warning okay so you no need to worry about that one so q java q demo
okay now you can see the elements whatever the order we have inserted that is the way it is displaying so this is very very important the queue follows the okay the order means the insertion order is preserved whatever the way you have inserted the elements that is the way the elements will be displayed whereas priority queue it will perform the sorting which is uh, by default it is an increasing order or ascending order now you can observe one more thing the 125 to 4 are the integer objects parnika is a string object and null so the link the queue which you means the queue interface and the linked list class okay allows the null element to be inserted and also it is allowed to have heterogeneous elements or different type of elements whereas in the priority queue it is not possible at that i will discuss later okay so this is the way you can add a uh, or offer the elements means add and offer both will work in the same way now what i want to do is that i want to use the uh, remove the method okay means i want to remove the elements from the linked list so you have two methods one is the remove method and the another one is the poll method what is the difference between the remove method and the poll method is they both will return and remove the elements meaning is that suppose if you write list dot or let me write like this system dot out dot print ln if i write list dot remove okay then what it will do is that whatever the element which is there at the head position okay or i can say the first element or the first object which is there in the queue like if you observe what is the first element is there one then 25 then two then four then pernica okay then you have the null okay so the element which is there at the head which is one will be returned and then removed okay then you can ask me sir what is the difference between uh, remove method and poll method poll method also will do the same thing it will remove the a uh, return and remove the head element or the first element then what is the difference if the queue is already empty if queue is empty then if you are trying to remove the element using the remove method then it will return an exception or it will raise an exception what is the exception it will raise is that no such element exception if you have a doubt what i will do is that i will comment all these things okay till here okay now initially itself i am trying to remove an element when the queue is empty okay if it's so then what will happen it will raise an exception okay let me compile the program and run it okay there are no errors now you can see it raised an exception what is that exception no such element exception has raised in place of this remove method if i use the poll method okay when the queue is empty then what it will do it will return a null value means a null value means it will not do anything okay look at here if you have a doubt let me compile the program and let me run see it given the null value meaning is that i am not able to return any value because the queue is empty okay if the elements are there then let me remove all the statements okay if the queue having some elements then both will work in the same way if you have a doubt let me delete all these things and let me write here okay and let me use the remove method now if i use the poll method what is the element which is there at the head one that will be returned so it will display using the println method and then it will be removed so if you write here system dot out dot print ln list if you write after that deleting the elements will be 25 2 4 pernica null will be there or you can write here after performing after performing poll 
okay you can write plus here if you use the list dot remove then what are the elements are there 25 2 4 pernica null is there so the had the head 25 is there that will be removed and then if you display the elements then the remaining elements will be 2 4 pernica null okay after performing remove okay now let me save this program and compile it now you can see okay after performing poll operation see first what it has happened it has removed the one and it has returned also so it has returned so that's why system dot outer println has displayed the value one which is there at the head position after performing the poll operation the remaining elements are 25 2 4 pernica null and then you have used the remove method it will return first and then it will remove so 25 has been written so we have printed and then it has removed so the remaining elements are 2 4 pernica null okay now if you want to identify what which element is there at the head we have two methods one is the peak method and another method is element method okay so these two methods are useful for you to display the display the element or object at head means the first element in the queue will be displayed however the peak and the element will not remove the element it will just display it for us okay then what is the difference between the peak and element method the same way the pull and remove what happened in the remove method if the queue is empty then what it has done it has raised in an exception the same way the element also will return an exception or raise an exception when the list is empty if you have a doubt you can look at this one okay let me comment all these things and here let me copy this one system dot out dot print ln let me use the element here what will happen we can observe okay as the list is already empty or the queue is empty okay now let me compile the program let me run it okay see we got in an exception called no such element exception in place of this element if i use the peak okay what will happen as the queue is empty there is no element at the head then what it will do look at here let me compile the program and then let me run it now you can see we got the output as null because it says that queue is empty at head there is no element is there so that's why it is returning the null however let's take that if you have the elements okay let's take that you have the elements let me remove all these things and then i'm using here list dot peak method i'm using okay so then what will happen at the head position what element is there one is there that will be returned okay even if you use the element method also what it will return it will also return one only because we that element method and peak method they are just displaying the element which is there at the head position okay so there will be no change so you got one and one suppose let's take that in between you have used the remove method then it will change okay because a remove method will successfully remove this one and display it for you okay because it returns so here you can get the the head element is the head element is and then you can perform the concatenation let me copy the same thing and paste here also and you can see okay let me compile here what is the output you will get here you will get one and here you will get 25 okay and it will display the value one here if you have a doubt let me compile the program let me run the program now you can see the head element is one and then one was returned and removed and then the head element is 25 okay so this is about the 
linked list class in Q interface. So we have totally discussed about the six methods. One is the add method and then offer method. Okay. And then we have discussed about the remove method and poll method, peak method and element method. Okay. The remaining one will be same like is empty all these things will work if you want to verify you can write if list dot is empty okay then i want to display system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln i can say q is empty okay q is empty Otherwise, if there are elements are there, I want to find how many elements are there. Then I can write system dot out dot print ln. I can use the size. Okay, the number of elements are the number of elements is okay. And then I will use plus for concatenation. Then I will use the size method. Okay, then it will return how many elements are there. Okay, if you have removed the one, then four elements are there. 25 to 4, 5 elements are there. So it should return the value 5. Okay, now let me compile the program. Okay, let me run the program. Now you can see the number of elements is 5 because the queue is not empty. Suppose if you have written the statement here because now you have not added any elements then it will display the output as queue is empty because the is empty method will verify whether the queue is empty or not if it is empty it will return the true here so if condition will be true the statements which are there in the if block will be executed if queue is not empty it will return the false then if condition will be failed the statements which are there in the else block will be executed if you have a doubt let me compile the program and then let me run it okay see here you got the output as q is empty okay i hope you have understood about the queue now let me discuss about the priority queue first let me discuss about the theoretical concept related to the priority queue okay the priority queue the insertion order is not preserved the name itself is the priority what is the meaning based on the priority the elements will be displayed so insertion order is not preserved even you have given the elements in a proper order they will be performed by default ascending order suppose let's take that you have given the elements as 1 3 2 then it will be stored as 1 2 3 if you are removing the elements then first element will be removed as 1 then 2 then 3 so insertion is order is not preserved by default it will go for the ascending order or increasing order and the next one is the duplicates are allowed okay so a lot of people will say that duplicates are not allowed but duplicates are allowed heterogeneous elements are not allowed you can able to store collection of similar type of objects only different type of objects are not allowed are not allowed okay i will discuss all these things practically and null insertion is not possible null insertion is not allowed okay and the by default the initial capacity is 11 you can able to insert 11 elements all these things practically we will discuss one by one and one more important point whatever the six methods we have discussed earlier all the six methods will also work in the priority queue okay so what i will do i will go to the desktop java programs and i will open the new one text document and i will keep it as p q ex dot java example okay let me save this one and open with notepad plus plus then i will write what first i need to import so import java dot util dot star and then i need to write class p q ex and then i need to write public static void main string args okay and then i can add the element so before adding the elements first i need to create an object okay so i need to write priority q some p is equal to new priority q 
queue so i am creating an object called p for the class called priority queue now i can use the add method okay let me write in lower case add method and then offer method to add the element so i will write p dot add i will give one then p dot add i will give three then p dot add i will give two okay and then i will write here system dot out dot print ln okay p see sometimes it will display the elements in the proper order even you have inserted one three two as it is a priority queue it will be stored in the ascending order it will be stored as one two three but sometimes it may not display as one two three don't think that it will not perform the uh, sorting okay means by default the elements will be stored in the ascending order if you want to verify what i have to do i need to compile this program so i will go to the command prompt desktop then java programs and then java c okay p q e x dot java there are no errors but all these are the some warnings only because you did not specify whether it will be able to store collection of integers or strings all these things okay then java p q e x now look at here even the elements has given one three two don't think that it will not perform the uh, ascending order okay the elements will be there as one two three if you want to verify i will use the remove method so i will write system dot out dot print ln the element displayed is or i can write here the first element displayed is the first element removed is the first element removed is then i will write okay plus p dot remove then it will remove the first element which is one means it will return and remove similarly you can write here system dot out dot print ln the second element removed is it will give the two don't think that it will give three okay similarly if i write here the third element removed is it will remove the three okay so it will remove the in the order as one two three because the elements will be there as one two three even you have given them as one three two okay let me save this program and compile it again and then let me run the program now you can see the first element removed is one the second element is removed is two the third element removed is three okay now i have a doubt sir you said duplicate elements are allowed okay then what will happen look at here let me save this one let me run this one before running i want to tell you few things as the elements now will be stored as one two two three okay now if you say the first element removed is one the second element removed is two the first occurrence of the two will be removed then you have two three if you have a doubt after removing the second element you can display the elements okay the elements will be two three will be there now if you remove the third element two will be removed then if you remove the fourth element okay then it will remove the three if you have a doubt let me write here the fourth element okay removed is so finally it will remove the three now let me compile the program there are no issues let me run it okay see the first element removed is one the second element removed is two see now you can observe one thing the elements are displaying in the ascending order okay that's what i am telling sometimes it will display them in the ascending order sometimes it will not display but however the elements will be removed in the ascending order only the first element removed is one the second element removed is two then you have the elements two three which is also displayed in the ascending order the third element removed is two the fourth element removed is three now i have a doubt next one what we have discussed heterogeneous elements are not allowed then if i write p dot add here if i give pernica what will happen you can see okay now let me save this one and let me compile this program it is there are no errors 
now you can see what is the exception it is raising exception in thread main java dot lang class cast exception integer cannot be cast to class okay so this is what the issue you are facing can we able to insert the null values we will verify even i have discussed null elements are also not allowed in the priority queue okay let me compile the program okay let me run the program now you can see exception in thread main long okay java dot lang null pointer exception that is the issue you are getting so we cannot able to store heterogeneous elements and also we cannot able to insert null elements okay now i have a one doubt let me comment this one we have discussed about the remove method okay now earlier we have discussed remove method if the priority queue is empty then what will happen look at here let me paste this one if the there are no elements and if you use the remove method then what it will give it will give an <coughs> an exception no such element found one will give you okay <coughs> i'm really sorry let me compile this one let me run the program you can see no such element exception has been raised in place of this remove if you use the poll method then it will remove the null as the priority queue is empty now you can see it has written null okay now what i will do i will remove this one and i will remove this comments okay and i will remove this system dot out dot print ln all these things now what i will do is that even this one is not allowed now look at here i will write here system dot out dot print ln if i write the the head element the head element is i will write here as plus and then i can use the two methods either the peak method or element method okay let me copy this one and paste again in place of element method now i will use the peak method in both the scenarios it will give the output as one the head element is one only so you will get the output here as one and also here as one let me save this one and compile it okay now let me run this program see the head element is one and one okay suppose you can ask me sir this warnings also i want to avoid then you can write here simply integer okay is it p is equal to new priority q integer okay then you can save this program and compile it now see you did not got any warnings now let me run the program now you will get the output as the head element is one the head element is one let's take that okay the priority queue is empty okay then what will happen then the element method will raise an exception the peak method will return the null if you want to verify let me copy this one and paste it okay before adding any elements okay the head element okay and the head element in peak this one will raise an exception first we will run this one let me save it okay java c p q e x dot java then java okay it is giving no such element exception okay suppose if i comment this one and if i run this statement then what it will happen it will return the value null because there is no head element as the queue priority queue is empty now look at here the head element is null okay so remaining methods are same like you can use the is empty size all these things you can use if you have a doubt you can write p dot is empty is empty and then i will write system dot out dot print ln i will write here q is empty or the let me write it as priority q okay priority q is empty now you can run this program okay 
by first compiling it okay java c and then java pqx see you got the output as priority queue is empty okay i hope you have understood about the the queue interface having the two implementation classes such as linked list and priority queue if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment session i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day